So we got a decent quantity of stuff here. I haven't done one of these videos in a while, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to talk about is this little stuff Yoshi that I got from my collection. I think it looks really cool on the shelf, you know. Love these little game related things and just love it. Let's continue. Next thing I'm going to talk about is something you don't see anymore as you used to. And you see a lot of Famiclones, clones, but you do not see TV games. And it is a card of Legendary Wings. TV game, first generation. Love these babies. These are the ones that I love to collect. And man, what an amazing space shooter. Check it out, it's really good. Now a little gem from my collection. Uh, came from a friend of mine, Carlos Amaral. My friend, thank you once again. He always gave me excellent games at an amazing price. And it is Rocking Cats. NTSC for the NES, love it, crazy mechanic, a little bit to get used to, but excellent game. Let's continue, let's put these babies over here, take them out of the way, and let's get down to what Mr. NES got me. Man, Mr. NES, my friend, thank you once again. It's not just the fact that he got me this, these games, it's the fact that, you know, there's a care. When you buy a game from Mr. NES, you know, he seals it again, he opens it, he cleans it, it checks it out, it comes with a little sticker saying Mr. NES. It's a professional work, okay? I sell repeat games, I sell games that I do not collect, I clean them up, I get them ready, but I not get to that point of perfection. So my friend, once again, thank you for the amazing price, thank you for the quality of the shipment, and let's get started. He got me a lot of Mega Drive games, and I'm gonna leave that little baby for the end. So. What do I get first? I got Team USA Basketball. It's a very basic basketball game, but it's really good to play. And it's one of those early Genesis titles that reads in the PAL regions because there was no block in the beginning. So it's a Genesis title that reads in the PAL region. And man, it's a basketball game. It's not the best looking basketball game on the Mega Drive, but it is fun. Yes, it is. Now a game that I've been around and trying to get for a while, but the price is always, always crazy, is Road Rash. I have Road Rash on the Master System. This is the same thing, but of course it looks better and plays a little bit better. And yesterday I tried it out and I was playing for like two hours. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Something else that I have on the Master System, once again, didn't have on the Mega Drive. And I started playing on the Mega Drive and I said, wow, this version is really good, cool looking, good. Platformer is the Otifunts. I don't know if you guys know this title, it's not very common, not very talked about, but it's cool. And it's funny because on the Master System, the levels are completely different. So it almost, you could say the Otifunts on the Master System, the Mega Drive are the same game, but completely different. Ends up being two versions of the same game. I think I, I, I think I explained myself well. If I didn't, check them out. They are different, but they're the same game. That's what I wanted to say. Pretty cool. All oh, these were complete with manuals. I can't you know, have to say that too. Now, Sega One Sports. It's a game that I already, all these games I already have. Taking out Ultimate Soccer, I only have Ultimate Soccer on the Master System, but it's a cool little, you know, multi-card. Very decent. Uh, for what I've heard, it's hard to get this multi cart in good shape, and this one is meant so. Thank you, my friend. Now, a game that I was a little bit disappointed because I have played this style of game on the Mega Drive, and I've played Zero Tolerance. And I think on that game, based on this style of game, they did a better job. And it is Corporation. Corporation, you know, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't play, you know, clunky but it's not perfect. The gameplay is not perfect and it takes a little bit of the fun out of it. And I was very excited to get this in my Mega Drive and try it out. And I was a little bit disappointed, but hey, sometimes it, it's what it just happens. You know, these early titles, they try to make a humongous great transformation from a PC game to a 16-bit console. And this is one of those cases. Is it okay? Yeah. Is it excellent and good to play? Sort of. Let's continue. Last game that I have here is a Master System game. Uh, something that I already have on the Mega Drive this time around. It's different. I, all the games I had talked that I had on the Master System I didn't have on the Mega Drive. In this case, I already had the Mega Drive version, did not have a Master System version. And it's pretty decent. It's a simple racing game, but I like it. It is 
F1 on the Master System, pretty decent. Now the last thing I'm going to talk about, oh this is not from Mr. NES, this, is, this game is not from Mr. NES too. But going back to Mr. NES now, um, something that he got me man, complete in the box and wow, the amazing price again of course, and it is, I love this box, the Game Genie. Yeah, he got me a Game Genie complete in the box, the manual and the Game Genie itself look new, um, impressive and I tried it out, it's a lot of fun, you know, all those little cool cheats you can do with this and very impressed with this box and the manual and everything, it's a little part of history and it's a lot of fun. So my friends, this was my little pickups video, didn't want to make it too big because it was a lot of games and it would be long if I talked about every game in detail. I think I talked about the main reasons why I like or don't like this game or why I'm excited to add these games to my collection. So my friends, nothing else to say, be well.